Hello and welcome, my name is the cool guy one one Today, I will be showing you guys how to make your very own TeamSpeak 3 server very easily so that you can use the TeamSpeak 3 application to talk with your friends. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to www.teamspeak.com. I'll have the link in the description and click and go to the downloads tab. Next, you're going to want to click a download. Make sure you have net players selected for either the 32-bit or 64-bit client. If you do not know what, which bit you have, press the Windows key, it's the little key in between Control and Alt on the left side of the space bar. Type in computer, and even if this, do, this screen does not look the same as mine, just follow along and it will do the same thing. Right-click on the computer, click Properties. It'll pull up this. You're going to see right here, System Type, 64-bit Operating System. That means you download the 64-bit thing. Or if it says 32-bit, you download the 32-bit thing. So, download the client, click Download, and download the server, download. And you're going to want to install the you're going to want to install the client going through the installation process so just pause the video here until you get this screen okay also you're going to you're going to want to open up the folder that you got when you downloaded it and extract it into a folder on your desktop you guys uh, will not see quite you guys won't see as many um, files in your in the full in your version of the folder as you do in mine but after you run it you will the first thing you're going to want to do is double click this now when I double click it it just starts up my server because I've already because I've already started up before but when but for but if this is your first time double clicking that that file then it will pull up a little window not a not a maximized little a little window and it's going to have several text boxes with Ver with various codes, letters, numbers. You're going to want to create a new desk. Uh, you're going to run it. Right click, new text document, open it up. Oh. Open it up, and you're going to want to copy and paste. Click on the text box, highlight everything, cop, copy, and paste every one everything like all the stuff that's in all those text boxes into the text document make sure you have them labeled properly you are going to need them in the future trust me all right let's move on to the next step after you after you do that you can click the little ok button at the at the near the bottom of the little window and it will start up your server you guys now have a teamspeak 3 server uh, now the last thing you guys need to do is make sure that people that are not in your house can still connect to your server like for instance if you have a ga uh, friend in Michigan or Ohio and you live in Florida or Los Angeles they, they, you need to make sure that they can still connect so you guys are going to want to press the Windows key again again if it does not look like this it is totally fine you're going to want to type in the, te the, war the letters C as in Charlie M as in Marina I don't know. Um, M as in mountain, and D as in dog. Hit enter, and it should bring up this. Sorry, I have a server open. It should not bring that. There. Sorry. Do that. Click enter. It should bring up a little thing like this. You're going to want to type in IP as in I as in international, P as in ping pong config c as in charlie o as in octagon n as in no yeah f as in yeah <laughs> i g uh, that should spell ip config no spaces just hit enter and you're going to want to scroll all the way up to the top where it says ipv4 address you're going to want Oh no, sorry. It'll say underneath the default gateway. It'll show this, something like this. You're gonna just, you're gonna just want to right click, mark, highlight this with the left click, enter to copy, 
click close you're gonna open this up a new a new tab control V to paste enter I already have a little thing open so keep in mind I have a Cisco a Cisco router a Cisco brand uh, the Cisco brand Wi-Fi router so keep in mind if you have a Linksys or um, Netgear or any other type of router you it is going to look different for you so just try to follow along if you guys need help uh, if, if it looks different for you and you guys have no idea where to go I recommend looking up a separate YouTube video on how to port forward using the type of router that you have for people that have Cisco's or people that for have routers that look like this click on the applications and gaming it's going to take you to single port forwarding as you can see I have a lot of port forwarding don't worry about it you guys are going to want to open up you guys are going to want to reserve two slots name both of them TeamSpeak 3 actually yeah you actually three of them three slots the first one for the external and internal ports are going to be 9987 you're going to click both you're going to type in the last three digits of your IPv4 address that we saw back in the command console and click the check mark. The second one is going to be 10011. 10011, both, same number, check mark. The last one is going to be 30033. 30033, both, last three digits, check mark, save settings. You guys have now made a working over the internet international TeamSpeak 3 server. You guys can now send files, talk, and chat, and whatever word, whatever other word you guys would like to use. If you guys have any questions on anything else for this uh, server, you guys are just going to want to. Uh, the last step in to actually connect to your server, you're going to want to go to Google, wait for it to load, you're going to want to, yeah, you're going to want to check, uh, type in, what is, what is my IP, you're going to want to click on the first, the first number right here don't don't worry about that I don't know what that is don't worry about that number click the first link right here it'll say in big bold letters your IPv4 address your, your IP address is you're going to want to copy the, the short number list and that's what and when you go into TeamSpeak you're going to click connect connect and then for the username that uh, you're just going to paste that number in the t in the username slot no password and you can choose your username click OK and connect um, you guys are going when you first connect to it for the first time you are going to get a little prompt to please enter the security key or some some sort of key um, to gain uh, server administration that's what this text document was for you're going to go into it find that super long um, te uh, letter and number progression copy that put it into the thing I think it's like a privilege key or something that's what it's called you're gonna click OK after you put it in and you will now have server administrator on your very own TeamSpeak 3 server you if you're if you want if your friends want to connect and talk to you just give them that number that you got from what is my IP in Google that you use to connect also if you guys have any questions, need help, or something's not working properly, please, please ask me or tell me in the comment section below. I will get to you. I will get back to you in under a day. My name is Dukuguy101. Please leave a like down below if it, if this video helped you out at all. If you guys would like to see more videos of such as videos of me using TeamSpeak, me doing a bunch of other videos, please click that subscribe button. It helps out. More than you guys can ever imagine. My name is Dakuga101. I will see you guys later. Have a great day, guys. Bye bye.